It is my pleasure to introduce you to Johnny Weir. I like when a press conference starts with applause. It's good. All right. So thank you for joining us this afternoon. I have um, a very special announcement. I am 16 and a half months pregnant with my first child. <laughs> that's all of that. Yes, that's all the reaction I get for that. <sighs> Actually, I am here to announce officially my return to competitive figure skating in hopes of being a member of the 2014 United States team to the Olympic Games in Sochi, Russia. So that's my opening statement. I'm very excited about it. My manager, Tara Maudlin, is to my right. My choreographer and coach, Nina Petrenko, to my left. And my off-ice trainer, Fatima Burns, to my far left. So we're here to take any questions you may have about this return, how we're going to go through it. If you want to talk about flying cabbage, we can do that as well. But uh, please be very forthcoming and get all the information that you'll possibly need. But I'm, I'm very excited about this. I'll continue to work with Galina Zmijevskaya, Viktor Petrenko, Nina Petrenko as my coaching team, and I will train at the Ice House in Hackensack, New Jersey. So, that's quick, short, and sweet, lovely. My hair won't stay this big for that long. <laughs> so, any questions? Tara will help facilitate all of them. <laughs> Working. What's the training schedule? The training schedule, I've actually declined a lot of events coming up for this spring, specifically to see the kind of condition I can get into by summer, which is when I would have to start competing locally just to kind of get my legs back. It's been two years since uh, since the Olympics. Well, now it's, yeah, two years. It's crazy. Um, so it's been quite some time since I've competed, so my goal would be to be prepared this summer for competition. I'll skate three hours a day, work out off the ice for an hour, an hour and a half per day, and uh, just try to get myself skinny and, and beautiful and artistically prepared for <laughs> the crazy world that is competitive figure skating. And just as a follow-up, how do you think that time schedule will affect you being you and My husband, <laughs> Victor, is also here. Uh, he is completely supportive of, of this decision, and has actually pushed me into this decision, um, sometimes against my will, sometimes with me. But um, we're very proud about this decision, and it won't affect anything. I'll still wash boxers and cook dinner and clean the house and do everything that I'm supposed to do as a, as a happy husband. Thank you. Lynn? Yes. Um, Earl, a couple weeks ago, uh, we had talked, and you said you were still trying to make up your mind to see if you really could physically uh, do this. Uh, what prompted you to, to make this decision? The decision simply made so that I can continue to grow as an athlete and as an artist, really. I may be a little bit older than the competitors I'll be competing against, but I wanted to do this while I still have the time. I didn't want to be 50 years old and look back and say, oh, those last two years before Sochi, and I kind of let them go doing other things, and I could have been skating and gone to my third Olympic Games. That was really the the pinnacle of what pushed me back into it. I didn't want to have any regrets. And while I had the performances of my life, and, and in my mind, the medal-winning performance in Vancouver, it didn't pan out for me. And I don't expect to come back and, and win immediately. It's going to be a slow process and a, you know, um, a beautiful a beautiful progression, hopefully, into once again becoming a national champion, a world medalist, an Olympic medalist, if not champion. Um, those are off in the distance, but I don't expect instantaneous results. I expect hard work this summer, and uh, you know, I, I am quite different in comparison to a lot of the other <laughs> skaters. I have a very big career off the ice in, in entertainment with my television show and all of that stuff. Um, 
in books and songs and fashion and <laughs> all these side projects. I've, I've done very well for myself as a figure skater, but I still have the drive to compete. And, and first place, 20th place, it doesn't matter. My, my own personal feelings will be completely fulfilled with even the process of trying to compete again. So I'm not looking for anything, but I won't say no to any, any medals or results. Quickly, uh, we all know that the quad is a big deal. Once again, they've changed the scoring system a bit, and it's very well rewarded. Uh, certainly, is that something you're going to be training? Are you going to be training your, you know, all of your jumps? I'll be training all of my jumps, and luckily I can still do my triples through the axle. Um, but Galena's already warned me that I'm not allowed to get pregnant. So that we can work on quad jumps and so I can actually be a real threat and not show up as just kind of the, just a face of figure skating. I want to show up and be competitive and actually have people take this seriously. This isn't a publicity stunt. This isn't anything other than a return to competitive figure skating, which is what I'm known for. When will be your first competition back, and when do you actually get on the ice to start competing? I've quietly been in the gym and on the ice since the fall of last year, and the first competition it, it will be decided with my my coaching team. Um, in my mind, there is a small competition in Hackensack, New Jersey, which is where I'll be training at the end of the summer, and uh, another one shortly after in September at Chelsea Piers in New York City. And um, both of those competitions will be good for me just to remember how to compete. It's very stressful to be in a six minute warm up and <coughs> wait for 35 minutes until you're actually on the ice competing. And it's a whole routine that I have to relearn how to do, not just, all right, we're getting hair and makeup now, and then we go to the event. <laughs> it's, it's a completely different process that I remember how to do. And um, I'm excited to compete and make new costumes and think about music. And um, I have some pretty fun ideas at the moment for the for one of the programs. I'm trying to find a way with my music editor to mix Carmen with Lady Gaga. And that's kind of on the short list of, of ideas that I have at the moment. So I'm very excited about the whole process and uh, I'm excited to compete. Yes. Talk about this next month from Sochi. I know you're very popular over there. Is that playing the decision at all? The fact that the next Olympics are in Russia definitely pushed me a little bit harder into this decision, simply because Russia has always been a very inspirational place to me, and uh, that's why I'm wearing the, the Russian pin today, as, you know, hopefully it'll bring good luck for, <laughs> um, for Sochi being in my future. Um, I, I would be thrilled, and it would be a dream come true to compete in Sochi, and, and the fact that it's in Russia, which is one of the countries I consider part of my home base, especially among my fans, um, it, it just it would be a, a, a perfect ending, and I and I will retire after Sochi. <laughs> I will. I can say that now. <laughs> yes. Are you uh, are you willing to go through qualifying in, in the fall in order to compete at nationals in twenty thirteen? My hope right now is that I can get at least one Grand Prix, even if it's Skate America. The United States Figure Skating Association, obviously, is aware of all of this and is very supportive of me. Um, but I'm not going into the competitive season with any airs. I, I'm just one of the people. I have no special treatment, and I will qualify to make the national team if, if I need to. I mean, I prefer to compete internationally, and spread my sparkles all over the place, but if, it's, uh, if it comes down to me competing regionally, sectionally, into the nationals, I'm absolutely ready to do that. What is the number one um, challenge you think by re-entering you might face, and how do you plan to overcome it? Age, and there is no way out. <laughs> <laughs> um, while I am older than most of the top competitors right now, I have been skating about the same amount of time as they have. They started at the age of two or three or four, and I started at the age of 12. So technically, 
even though in number I'm older, my body is about the same age, um, which is lucky for me. But that'll be the biggest challenge. The second one will just be after the Olympics in Vancouver, I completely started to spread my wings and live a life <coughs> that wasn't like a monk, which is what you need for competitive figure skating in any sport, really. You have to be totally focused and dedicated to that. And I've been very free and running around and doing whatever I want or I was told to do by Tara. Um, and that's very fulfilling and lovely. I mean, it gave me the opportunity to fall in love and get married and, and build a beautiful life for myself. But um, going back into competition, it will be so stressful to give up a lot of the extracurriculars and only skate and only focus on the program and doing the jumps the next day. And it, it, it's a very, very tough thing to do, even if you've been doing it for years and years. But now that I've had this two years, <coughs> it'll be even harder. But I'm, I'm prepared and I'm not excited about it, but I'm prepared for it. <laughs> <laughs> How and much, if at all, will you be able to do any of these extracurriculars <coughs> in the next two years? Well, with uh, the fall winter fashion week looming, I really wanted to go all out as I have been doing and attend as many shows as possible and be inspired and get into it. But um, at this point, the only show I'm planning to attend is that of my dear friend Chris Benz, um, just for, for support, and I'll probably go for 10 minutes. Otherwise, you know, I, I won't be able to spend Saturday night drinking in a corner booth with my friends. I'll be sleeping. I, um, I have no plans at the moment of any extracurriculars. The only thing that could come into play is a, a spare video camera every once in a while. But I'm not, uh, I'm not planning any major events. Next week, I'll be a commentator for IceNetwork.com, which is the, the leading skating network online. And uh, it shows every competitor from start to finish, whether they're good or bad. And um, I'll be commentating for the men's competition, which is kind of odd, because I'll be competing against them in one year's time. Uh, but I'll be commenting about them. And uh, I, I want to scope out the competition in the United States and see what I'm up against. And um, in March, I'll be going to Japan to perform in the show produced by Miki Ando, who's a world champion, reigning world champion. And um, it's to mark the one year anniversary of the tragedies that struck Japan last year. And otherwise, I'm keeping my schedule pretty open so that Galina Zmioskaya has the entire control over my life. But she's going to have to fight with me. <laughs> How out of shape do you think you are right now? <coughs> I probably have about... <laughs> you don't have to answer that. <laughs> I've answered it. I've probably got about eight pounds to get off of me, which through diet and exercise shouldn't be a problem at all. I'm, I'm used to crash dieting. It happens every year for a figure skater. You go on vacation in summer, and then you get back, and you get pinched, and you lose the weight. Um, as far as conditioning goes, I'll, I'll leave it to, to Fatima and Nina to talk about a little bit. Hi. Um, I had the pleasure to work with Johnny for the last four years, and uh, I have no doubt that he'll be back in shape um, in no time. His work ethic like, is amazing. It's, it's scary uh, to know somebody that can focus so hard and regain his shape and so quick. And uh, it's not true about the crash diet. He might do a little bit, but he's just very, very disciplined. Once he sets up a, um, a goal, he follows mm -hmm. through. And it doesn't matter how much temptation he gets around. Um, he is just focused, very, very focused. I have no issue with Rowdy. He has to increase the intensity, the frequency, but we just have to adjust it to what Kalina has to say. Well, um, as Melina said this morning to one of the cameras, oh, he's in awful shape. Like, don't look at him right now. <laughs> Come back in three to four weeks, you'll see a different Johnny. Um, I know Melina can do a great job with, with Johnny, and she's really tough, as um, maybe you guys seen on TV. Um, there is no phone answer. It's a triple, it's a quad. She doesn't take a no. Um, for her, it doesn't matter. So I, I'm pretty confident he'll be physically in a good shape. Um, with programs, we'll hopefully, you know, we'll have we'll have a lot of time now to create and uh, come up with ideas and spend a lot of time on the ice um, and also with costuming because 
we'll both love this process. So I, I have a pretty good feeling that by summer he'll be in great shape, knowing my mother. So. And before I take the next question, I want to uh, involve you all. I'm going to tweet that I'm coming back to competition. <laughs> to my, my fans, I tweeted yesterday that something big was going to happen today, and this is the news, and um, I just wanted there to be proof that I tweet for myself and that you guys are all a part of it. So, <laughs> I tweet. <laughs> I read that there were, were American wedding plans in, in the works, and so I'm wondering how this, who's going to do the planning, how is that going to, you know, fit into your schedule? I've uh, talked to my mother-in-law, Lilia Vorna, and uh, she wants to take over completely. So she'll be working on it. It will be this summer before I'm really hardcore getting ready for the competitions. And uh, I'm very excited about it. I, I want it to be a huge celebration of, of our union and with our nearest and dearest, all our friends, because the actual ceremony took place on Worth Street and uh, just at the courthouse. And my parents and Victor's parents were present, plus um, my best friend Meg Carlotzi, she was our witness. And um, it was just very simple and very subdued. And I know at least my family is expecting icicles and fur <laughs> and craziness for my wedding. So, you know, being as happy as I am and, and loving everybody that I surround myself with, I want to do a special party for them. And you'll be designing my goal is that either Tom Ford or Victor and Rolf will design what we're going to wear. I'll be busy designing costumes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I want to know where you were when you heard that having life attack would come back because you decided to remove that. Well, last year you mean? Or has he come back this year also? September. Oh. <laughs> you know, September, but then uh, um, it's a very difficult thing to do to come back to competitive figure skating and you know lucky for me I don't have the pressure of being the Olympic champion riding on my shoulders as well I can come back and and land some jumps and look beautiful and people will be excited and happy to see me Evan has the pressure of coming back as a champion and actually just uh, on Christmas uh, Yevgeny Plushenko won the Russian national title and it was a huge inspiration for me uh, to see him able to do that and, and come back and beat all of the other young guys and he's competing in the European Championships next week and I've always looked up to him as one of my <coughs> idols and um, his comeback was definitely more inspiring to me than, than Evan's announcement last year. Um, Evan and I have a long rivalry but he was one of the first people that congratulated me on my, my marriage and I thought that was very cool and very big of him and um, if he decides to come back, it'll make U.S. figure skating very interesting between he and I and, and the crop of great young skaters we have now. Yes. How is married life so far? <laughs> married life is interesting. It's, it's strange wearing a, a ring every day, especially when I'm lotioning. Um, <laughs> it's, it's actually beautiful. It's... It's very nice to come home and have somebody there that's excited to see you and that you're excited to see and to to cook for somebody and not just be alone cooking for you and then throwing it away because you just enjoyed the process. Um, it's, it's lots of things. I'm very fulfilled. I, I'm very happy and I feel like I have a partner in crime going into all of this craziness that's about to spring on me with the figure skating again. And um, I'm happy that I found something that I never thought that I would. So I'm thankful for that every day, and I hope this is, you know, forever and ever. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, <clears throat> if you were competing at Nationals next week, where do you think you would finish? Considering my condition at the moment, yes, definitely first. <laughs> um, to be honest, as as a competitor, there's no point in 
competing if you don't think you can win. There's no fun in just saying, oh, I was there. <laughs> you, you go in hopes of winning. Even if it's delusional, no matter how crazy you sound, you go to, to win. You don't go to finish second. So even though I wouldn't win the national championships next week at the moment, I would go there thinking I will. Are we sure we're all done? Because I'm going back into a hole and you won't see me for like six or seven months. We're good? Anyway, just follow my Twitter. That's where to get the best up-to-date news. And my website. Which is? JohnnyGWeird.com. Or net. <laughs> no, thank you all very much for being here and sharing in my special news.